ูละอาฮัลลลามาดูละอินชาลามินฮาอินชาลาอินชาลามุฮัลลาอัลลูละฮัลลา Yes, he apologized, which is fair enough. But there is one thing that I really want to say, which is actually very, very deep. Amr ibn Khattab once said, "Verily, we were a disgraced nation, and Allah honored us with Islam. If we were to seek honor in anything other than Islam, Allah will disgrace us once again." Now this got me thinking: Why is it that the Muslims today are so disgraced? And I start thinking of people like Andrew Tate and the Sneeko guy, for example. And I thought Muslims actually take these people as role models. Then I started thinking about other things that Muslims find value and honor in, and the list is huge. You've got things like nationalism, feminism, and liberalism. Here's the thing: Allah literally makes a promise in the Quran where He says, "Al yoma akmaltu lakum dinakum." Today I have perfected for you Islam. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also gave us a very valuable bit of information. Where he says, "Khairun nas," the best of all people, are my generation and the two generations that come after me. So, on one hand, you have Allah telling you that Islam is perfect, meaning all bases are covered, and on the other hand, you have the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, telling you who the best people are. So, if we connect the dots, why are we trying to seek honor and value from people and ideas that are completely un-Islamic? Why are we not turning to the only source that is perfect that has been given to us on a golden plate? And for that, if you genuinely want to see the Muslims honored again, it starts with you unfollowing, unsubscribing, and completely dissociating from people and ideas that are not Islamic. And the reason why I say that with so much confidence is because Allah says it in the Quran. إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم. Indeed, Allah will never change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves first. It literally starts with you.